Yo, what's up? My name is RetroPat, and welcome back to my quaint little Terraria playthrough in Minecraft, or Terraria World. Yep, Minecraft. There we go. Great start, Pat. Um, today, I'm just going to be continuing my casual mining experience. I did crank up the volume a little bit since I feel like a huge part of this journey is going to be the the vibes, as the uh, the young folks say. Um, the vibes and just sort of the experience of Terraria. Just a very simple, basic, nothing special playthrough. I'm telling you right now what you're getting into. So don't be surprised when I don't do anything immaculate. I don't do any hardcore mode, speed run, crazy stuff that a lot of talented people do. I'm probably the most average, if not below average, Terraria player by any means. But if you enjoy today's content as some background Terraria enjoyment while you probably play yourself... Um, Make sure to like the video and subscribe to let me know. Let me know what kind of content you're enjoying so I can create more of it. Uh, but honestly, this is a lot just for me. I'm. This is just something that I like to do. I, I want to do. I like to experiment with different styles of content. I think I do a lot of hype, exciting stuff as well as sometimes I want to sit down and relax and be a little more monotone, be a little more relaxed and just uh, kind of enjoy myself and have fun playing a casual sandbox style game like Terraria. So... That's what we're doing today. That's enough of explaining the same thing over and over. Let's just go ahead and continue mining our stone block with the tink, tink, tink noise. I really feel like, I really feel like this is one of the best sounds in gaming. The tink, 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 like this is classic. Like, I feel like this is something you never really forget. If someone, you could, man, if someone played this tink, tink, tink noise, I feel like you would recognize it a mile away. Um, when you first play Terraria, you just really, really come attached to it. It's such a methodic, methodic sort of sound, if that's even a word. Um, let's go ahead and tink, tink, tink our way over to this left area, this western area. We'll pop that. Give us a little more light. I want to go over to these, these vases. Popping these early game vases, is it even worth to grab this lead ore? It probably is. Is that, is that what this is? Lead or is it iron? It's lead. Okay. Um... That was a huge difference between it, it's such a it's funny it's such a simple difference between like if you think about it now you know who really cares but it was a big difference back in the day the difference of ores like the fact that the fact that terraria had copper and minecraft didn't well now it does which is hilarious but the fact that terraria had copper and lead and tin um it did have gold ore I don't even know if it had, I'm trying to think what it exactly had back in the day. Um, so I'd say they definitely added a bunch. It's definitely a lot different now, but the tiers of ores, there was more ores in Terraria. The tiers were much different. And uh, I think gold, like back in the day, one of the biggest differences was gold was actually the best material in all of Terraria. Like, at least like back, aside from like um, the like demonite stuff or whatever it's called, right? I, once again, my noob is showing. Um, Gold is it was and is still pretty dog shit in Minecraft. I mean, gold has its niches, I think, nowadays in Minecraft, um, with the ability to like have better enchantments or something. Someone could correct me. Um, but Terraria, it was just like the most powerful. Like uh, the durability of, of gold and everything, everybody knows in Minecraft is not good. It's not really like a super powerful block or super powerful tool to use. Um, but man, in Terraria, it was the best. It was just a really interesting difference, a really interesting design choice. I'm gonna go ahead and block off the water there and try to get rid of all of this because water can be, water can be what ends like certain mine shafts. It really can make things really complicated. This is also probably my favorite song in all of Terraria. I think it's called. It might just be called like underground or something. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it also might be. I'm really hoping it's not, but it also might be copyrighted, which is really funny. Um, it's not really that big of a deal since like this water. Ooh, that thing is huge. Um, let me take care of it before it takes care of me. But anyways, um, I don't know what's causing all this water. Let's, okay, let's do it like this. And hopefully this should help. No, it still has like a spring coming in in a weird way interesting i don't know how to necessarily prevent this like i'm digging and if the water is just still there that is so strange i don't know if i can stop this is it, gonna, is it the water still gonna be there what really okay i do not know how to deal with the water then in terraria unfortunate i guess i'll just let it bleed through let me just like dig enough to where it can be funneled through into a cave and that'll be my, uh, like, I'll do this. This is the best strategy I have. Just, like, dig over here, let the water sink into this area. So I don't have to deal with it. 
That's all I got. Tink, tink, tink. Well, the, the dig on the dirt's more like plump, plump, plump. There we go. Okay, that'll take care of that for now. At the very least, get back to my tink, tink, tinking. I'm gonna place a torch over into caves wherever I can is appreciate. Oh, hear a worm coming. I want to get my boomerang out for it. Oh, it died. Something else died. It's killing things on the way to me. Now, if you... Wait, there we go. I one-shot it with the enchanted boomerang. Wow. If you are mining, if you're actively swinging something... Uh, I think this is... I don't know the mechanics for sure, but this is just from my anecdotal experience of playing. Um, the worm seems to be much less likely to strike you. Like, if you just continue to, like, swing and mine, it seems like the worm won't attack you, which is a really crazily, like, interesting... That was a crazy mechanic to be coded in the game, like, even back in 2011. It, f it feels like, to me at least, maybe that's really simple. Maybe devs are laughing at me. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it felt really interesting to me, but seeing that, yeah, having that worm really, th like, kind of have a thinking AI and understanding when to attack, and if you just continue to mine, 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 like, eventually, I think it just attacks... Um, but I don't know. It's cool that it's like dissuaded from attacking you if you're swinging a sword or attacking with a weapon or, or mining with a pick or whatever. Where it's gonna if it's gonna take some damage. It'll wait to a time. That snail is looping. Absolutely looping. Poor guy. Uh, let's go ahead and come down here. I might branch off a little bit to go grab that, which what I believe is silver ore, because I'm pretty sure silver ore is pretty decent. I'm down to branch off. It's also weird that your character is not weird, but it's a huge difference. Your character being three, three blocks high, and I think two two blocks wide, three blocks high in Terraria versus Minecraft's, I believe, two by two? I don't even know if I know exactly. No, no, no. Obviously, your character is one. Wait a minute. Your character is obviously one wide in Minecraft, which is funny. Um, remember how I said in episode one, it's like disrespectful to compare Terraria and Minecraft since they're such different games, and pretty much all I've been doing is comparing the differences. <laughs> Kind of ironic, huh? Kind of a, uh, what's it called? Hypo hypocritical for me, isn't it? I think it is interesting. I think I think my biggest issue comes with people calling Terraria 2D Minecraft. I think that's a little bit too much of a disrespect to the game. Uh, but if you want to make comparisons, I mean, they are... I think it's, you know, it's a, you, you have the right to do so. Um, you have the right to do whatever you want, but you can see what I'm saying. Um, they are both sandbox mining based games that released had final releases in 20 like in the same year in 2011 so that was a huge part of it as well um i'd be really curious to see i don't know how much the terraria devs talk about it if they were truly inspired by minecraft in some way or like what they're i, I don't i actually don't know to this day i know that they're some of the best devs out there that still work on their game which is incredible but i don't know if i they have any interviews or have any open communications a huge pocket of lead ore which is awesome um i'm just not sure which is kind of interesting Tink, tink, tink. So you actually get lost. You get lost in the tink, tink, tinking. Oh, I should just shut up sometimes. Just listen. Tink, 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 tink. I feel like I take inspiration. I don't know if Terraria took inspiration for... I just drank a mining potion on accident. That's okay. That's fine. Um... I don't know if Terraria took inspiration from Minecraft or not, but I feel like I take inspiration for this series from David Angel 64, aka X's Adventures in Minecraft. And I don't, I don't think that this kind of series can work on on YouTube well nowadays. But I just, I don't know. I've always wanted to do it. It's fun. It's it's freaking fun, you know. Um, David Angel 64. Many of you may have watched his original Minecraft series, being X's Adventures in Minecraft. Um, that was one of the first series that really exposed me to Minecraft. The first, the first one that I watched in depth. Uh, previous or prior to that, I discovered Minecraft through my middle school theater buddy. This is the hilarious, most hilarious sentence. My middle school theater friend showed me an IGN.com video showing off Minecraft and showing off the expiration of the first night and everything. And that was that was how I found out about Minecraft all the way back in. 2009 i would think i was in i was in sixth grade when i found out about minecraft so that would be 09 i think right that's crazy i was born in what it I, so i was 12 years old in sixth grade i was born in 1998 i guess 2010 i can't do math 
Maybe I was 11 though when I found, I'm not sure. I was, I, I either started playing Minecraft or found out about Minecraft in 2009 or, or 20, either 2009 or, uh, or uh, 2010, but I started playing. I didn't, I didn't start, I wasn't able to start playing. I couldn't afford the game until Christmas of one year. Uh, Alpha 1.2.6. Never forget that, obviously. It's crazy, man. I'll never even forget the first w the world I built and how I just sort of made my house and everything. I had like a little redstone hot tub, essentially just a two by two infinite water block with like redstone torches around it. That was like my little hot tub that I had built. Um, I'll never forget. I spawned in a snowy biome biome for my first ever Minecraft world, which was pretty unique at the time since you always spawned on a beach back then. I spawned on a beach, um, but also like right next to a to snow, which was interest i spawned on sna on sand in a snowy biome if that makes sense um i'm sure it makes sense to minecraft players but it sounds kind of weird for geological reasons um but it was always I, I remember i just dug into i essentially just dug into a small not even like a mountain like nowadays my play style of minecraft is always the same I dig into a, mo a mountain and I build a house that way. I almost never build a house on the overworld itself. I always expand from a mountain, from a cave. Um, and back then I did the same, but it wasn't a mountain I was digging into. It was more so just a dirt hill. It was a very like shallow dirt hill that I had just dug into and, and like a two by two. I just dug like a little, a little door. Um, it was a picture like a, a beach in Minecraft, and sometimes you'll have those like offshore dirt, small little like plains hills. That was kind of what I dug into, but there was snow on the there was snow on it and everything. Uh, that was such a funny choice by me, and I, it really ooh that's huge. I want to get these as soon as possible because I need as much HP as possible to not let me die because I'm bad at the game. Um, but man, those, I loved, I'll never forget the way I built into that hill and I had to like expand it with dirt and I had like glass and man, old school Minecraft, Minecraft was just so different. And there's a reason why I actually still go back and play on alpha, uh, to this day. It's just really fun and nostalgic for me. Is it a, is alpha a better game? Uh, in my opinion, no. And probably in most people's probably not. Like I, I, you know, I don't have nostalgia. I don't have a rose tinted goggles to that extent where i think the game was truly better i think with most cases with nostalgia we're probably at a better spot now but it you know it depends um I'll, i always acknowledge that you know what i just love that era whether for better or for worse i absolutely love me what is this diamond gem corn i've never seen this i just got like a diamond and stuff from that tree i didn't know what that was i was just kind of mining it that was so strange um this is oh this is why did i do this this was i'm i'm telling a story and i'm i don't know how i'm gonna do combat in this game in certain situations if i'm to oh whoa i should have died there that was a boulder that just came fucking hurling from the sky sorry for the language i'll probably try to keep my language minimal in this series i curse like a sailor speaking of how i should have died uh okay probably deserve that anyways what was i talking about Minecraft, digging into the side of a beach, a dirt hill, something, something, yuppers. All right, while I'm back at my main base, I might as well go ahead and put stuff away. Let's go ahead and put away our coins. I also make sure, I feel like I control click sometimes, which puts stuff in the trash like this. And I don't want to do that accidentally and actually just destroy stuff. So let's put our topazes away. This is our valuables chest. We'll put our lenses here as well, since I obviously want to, or should I go ahead and Let's keep my, well, let's wait a minute. Let's keep my ores and I'll turn them into actual bars. We'll do that as well. Uh, let me consume my life crystal. I should have done that immediately, but I just totally forgot for whatever reason. Uh, it's going to be 120 max HP, which is awesome. I don't know how this, I'm scared to place this diamond gem corn and waste it. So for the time being, I'm probably should just planted ASAP. This might be a noob mistake. Um, I'll check that out in a bit. Um, I mean, Terraria is what you call a wiki game, right? I feel like it's like one of the best examples of a wiki game. And when someone says wiki game, usually it's talking about a game that there's so much to it. There's so many new things that lead to other things and so many progression loops that you end up just wikiing so much and just learning so much of the game and everything and just 
um, constantly being on the game's wiki. Uh, Stardew Valley is a good wiki game. Uh, Minecraft can be a wiki game if you're new, for sure. Uh, for me, thankfully, it's it's not. But there's definitely still some stuff that I wiki like. Even stuff like how to build a shield is something I don't always remember hilariously because I just that's a newer mechanic to me in Minecraft. Obviously, being a alpha baby. Anyways, what am I what am I doing from this point? I want to go ahead and put any everything away. I think I'm just continuing to mine more. I like how I can jump and pause the game just to like access these chests. Oh, what I want to do is I want to build a furnace. That's what I want to do first and foremost. That's what I was trying to do. Build a furnace <clears throat> so I can go ahead and place that here within range of both. And now I can make my bars. I wish there was a way to instantly craft all. I don't think you can. I think you have to like hold it like this. I don't know if Terraria ever added... Yeah, that's, that works, though. We'll do an anvil as well. Go ahead and make our core crafting functions. Uh, the question becomes, I like to do, do, do. Can I place, like, this and then do this? Nice, 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 nice. I like to do stuff like this uh, and just have everything. Because everything being in crafting range is really important. I can make a weather vane. That's really cute. Uh, great. Only allows liquids through. This is a really, really cool... God damn it, the flavor text. Uh, this is a very cool new item that I have very little experience with that will be fun to check out. Minecart tracks? I don't have a whole lot. I made, like, one mine, one big minecart on one, on one Terraria world a long time ago. That'll be fun to experiment with. So, it seems like lead pickaxe is better than tin, obviously. I'll probably go ahead and just... I do want to... Do I need a broadsword? I mean, I have my boomerang, but... Let's make ourselves a lead pick. Because that's an upgrade. Yep, we'll go ahead and... It has better speed as well. Uh, we can go ahead and... I probably should... You know what? Let's craft... Wood walls. I do want to start trying to get a merchant. Like, getting your first merchant is just so important. So you can sell all the needless... Uh, there's so many items in Terraria. And you just end up selling a bunch of them, so... Uh, should I do wood wall or stone wall? I'm probably going to do wood wall. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let's do a couple hundred. I do have a lot to cover, honestly, here. Let's do around 350 for the time being. That's probably way too much. That's probably plenty, but let's go ahead and build this area. We'll build down here as well. Now, I'm going to need to build a chair as well. I believe you can. I want three, so I'm going to have three different locations, three different little builds. Uh, now, thankfully... Workbenches do also count as uh, tables. So what you can do is have a workbench on each floor, and that's going to count as a table, which is super nice. So there's a couple things you need that were hard to remember for a long time, but now I remember pretty well that I've been playing the game for for quite a long time. Uh, you need like you need the the back walls. You need a light source, or at least a decently lit light sources. You need some amount of. I never forget the dimensions though. You need the house to at least be like some amount of height. I think it's like five or four blocks high minimum. You need a door. You need a light source. You need a table, chairs, just a livable home. You need a livable home for the merchants and other npcs to be able to move in and i really think look at that balloon the, the balloon the parallax is that what is it parallax is that correct to, to terminology to call it that the parallax balloon in the background um i really think the npcs are what made terraria terraria like easily one of the biggest differences that separated terraria from minecraft back in the day and to this day still was the was the addition of that slime uh npcs that that art that extra that much more rpg element um that minecraft would later go on to add like villagers and stuff but that didn't exist for a long time uh but terraria had npcs terraria had let's place walls up here as well terraria had the gold you know before minecraft had emeralds terraria had gold silver platinum you know coal, like coins like straight up money and i always enjoyed that aspect of terraria i also prefer you know what call me a loser call me a baber ba baber baby um, I like that Terraria's punishment upon death is you only lose gold. I, you know what? Obviously, play the game however you want, okay? And if you if you like items dropping on death, I think that's awesome. Really cool way, and I, I totally get, I totally, totally get wanting that extra um, punishment. I super get it, okay? And like the the thrill of rushing back to your body to to get your to reclaim your items. I totally, totally get it. Having said that. I really like uh, playing Minecraft on Keep Inventory. You can call me a baby once again. Playing Minecraft on Keep Inventory. And I always loved the fact 
that Terraria, you only lost your money upon death. It's still a punishment, but not nearly as much as losing, you know, all of your items that, upon you know, dropped upon death. Now, later, they added it so that you could um, choose to, to be on a difficulty that made you drop your items as well, but... For a while, it was just coins, and I really like that. I really like that. Uh, if you don't, that's super fair, but that's definitely my kind of play style. My kind of play. I prefer to play sandbox games as these sort of adventure, fun, like semi-survival, but it's more so resource gathering and more so grinding and more so... Let me get my hammer here to fix this. It's going to bother me if I don't fix this. Um, I know that was going to happen. I always mess that up. Yeah. Fix that really quick though. Um, but yeah, it's more so just progression and like in building a world. I, and I prefer to build a world with um, without the fear of losing so much progress. You know, that's how I play. If you don't like that, that's obviously only fair. But that's how I'm definitely be playing this series. If it wasn't obvious, I have eight recall potions. I'm gonna put my bars away like this put all my ores and bars away and everything put all of that away we'll keep my bombs on me just in case like having bombs on you is really really helpful so i'm gonna keep that and this i'll probably do rope here in a sec somewhere else yeah definitely over my hammer all right this inventory is looking pretty good to go back to mining while it's nighttime especially i'm gonna drop my rope coil down here and hope this works the way i expect it to work Oh my god, no. Okay, maybe back in the day, someone can let me know. Did this used to, to go infinite? Um, did it stop because of the torch? Did I make a mistake? But that's hilarious that it just stops right there. So let me... <laughs> that's so funny. Drop rope. It probably should work like that. I think it's kind of OP if rope coil can just... <laughs> it can just last for a century and be all the rope you'll ever need. You know, just one rope coil. It makes sense. Um, I try to pre-plan around it to get that little strategic advantage, but you know what? I understand. I understand. So let's, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did not deserve to live that. I totally, totally should have died. Um, that's... We'll call that YouTuber luck. Uh, let me get rid of that. I'm gonna run out of rope here in a sec. Okay, that's a little awkward. Um, what do you need to make rope? I think it's spider web, correct? All right, this works for now. Is this going to kill me if I drop? Probably. Uh, well, we learned we can't make that drop. Well, you learn something new every day. Honestly, since I have the Enchanted Boomerang, I'm down to just go explore the world for the time being. Do I have 50 silver? Let me put all of my money on me. Um, yes, this might be a mistake. But if I have enough... I'm almost there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get all the silver... I think you need 50 to spawn the merchant. I'm going to put all of my silver on me. I'm going to put a recall potion up in my top bar and I'm going to run around the world. I'm going to pick up all the shooting stars that I can. I'm going to pick up, you know, two more silver to gain at one more silver, 50 copper to gain access to nice shots. Retro Pat. Oh, wow. It may seem very simple to you guys, but it's <laughs> very talented for my boomer brain. Um, he's off in the distance. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Uh, oh, there's, there's a little area over here. I almost forgot. I was actually forgot that I set this area up. So, you know what? But yeah, I want to go. I want to pick up more. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Okay. Pick up more gold. Pick up more money as well as. I also love that the Enchanted Boomerang lights the way for you. I always thought that was so, so, so cool. Uh, this Well, there's two chests over here. This is big loot. Okay, quick. I love this stuff. Talk about RPG elements in Terraria, man. Oh, that's awesome. That is so sick. Detect enemies around you, plus four movement speed. Oh, man. I love accessories. This is so cool. Okay. Oh, I'm just nerding out over that. Increased night vision. I don't think I need to take that right now, but it's honestly an interesting option. I should have enough gold now. Yep, or enough money to... Uh, and more rope. That's what I needed. Perfect. Okay. I want to get more rope while I explore. I want to get more chests. Get more rope and more gold is really the main thing. Uh, let's go ahead and another chest. Wow. There was like four chests. <laughs> Literally four chests in this one freaking area. That's crazy. Um, the deadly umbrella. Wait, this can actually be used to let me descend my mining shaft as well without the need of the rope. Talk about perfect five chests in this one Five chests in this one freaking area. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was five because I have four chests on me 
after mining that. Then I'm pretty sure I got another, obviously, towards the beginning of the game. That's, that's, that's bananas, is what we'll say. All right, moving on. I'm going to try to place... I don't need to... Like, I, I don't mind... I could technically save my torches and really skimp here and just, like, light my way with, you know, where I'm at. But I, I like lighting up caves throughout my world. You know, if I'm going to live on a world for a long period of time, why not play it for the long game? Why not light it up, you know? I don't mind that, so... Even though there's a solid chance I never come back to this cave ever again after exploring it or something. I don't know, it... I feel like, especially like back in the day, you would kind of stick to one cave for a while, and like if, even like a dug-in area like this, where it's just um, a, you know, a section of the world that has like a little drop down. I feel like you would continue to come back to that drop down over and over and over again. I don't know if that's necessarily how people play nowadays, but I, I might, I might go for that this series. So I'm gonna play how it feels right to me for me to play. I do want to grab. I hilariously do want to grab this cobweb. There's so much cobweb that's like pretty easy to grab in Terraria, but oh, that is a long drop. Um, and I'm gonna destroy this so I don't die to that because I know I probably should destroy those when I see those uh, Let me put the umbrella Up here so that I can Genius 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 And there's a life crystal down there that is so good and one of these demonic things these are needed to craft Oh in a whole room Dude, why is there so much to explore in Terraria? It is stupid how much there is to explore in this game. There we go, 140 HP. That's incredible. I'll put a potion here. Um. Oh, let me get rid of this. Wait a minute. Before I die to a dart trap. That would be not fun for me. There's so much to explore in this game. It's like just ridiculous. Got a gold chest and like a, a Pepe the Frog. <laughs> like a piece of art here, it looks like. Okay. Gold chest, cloud in a bottle, yes! This was like the cool, okay. Even to this day, I love cloud. Cloud in a bottle gets outclassed, I feel like, in Terraria pretty fast nowadays, but dude, back in the day, that was like the best accessory. Like, I, cloud in a bottle was so good. Having the ability to double jump, come on, man. Aside from like rocket boots, which was like the end game of Terraria was getting like rocket boots back in the day. Man, dude. Cobwebs, let me grab all these. I actually want them hilariously. I need to get a grapple hook as soon as possible. That is one of the cool, like, in my opinion, coolest, quote unquote, this is going to sound hilarious to talented Terraria players, coolest, quote unquote, new <laughs> mechanics to try. I, I'm curious when grapple hooks were added. I bet it was like 2013 or something ridiculous, but um, I love grapple hooks and they're still newish to me, which is kind of laughable. Um, but yeah, I, I love... I need to get enough of like one. Pro I probably have enough topaz to build a topaz grappling hook at this point, which is really good news because grappling hooks, the movement in Terraria can just get ridiculous. Even like pretty early on, like obviously having the cloud in a bottle, allowing me to do double jumps is fantastic. Uh, I, feel, I feel like every game, okay, not every game, obviously, but man, most games, I'll say it, most games should have a double jump and a dash. <laughs> I'll say it, man. Um, I've been playing Doom 2016 recently, and this is going to upset a lot of people, and I'm really, really sorry to the Doom fans. I thought that I was going to love... I mean, I'm sad about it. I'm Doom 2016 is one of the most disappointing games I've played in the last two years. Like, it's been that bad for me personally. Just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Um, I've been super disappointed by it, man. Um, I really thought the... Like, it's a game based around big, dumb gun combat. And to me personally, the combat just doesn't feel very good. It doesn't feel exciting. It doesn't feel big and dumb. It feels slow and clunky and not satisfying. The sound effects of most of the guns don't really do it for me. Um, my favorite is definitely the like slug shotgun. I'm about halfway into the game. Like I've played a fair amount of Doom. I have the double jump. Like the double jump, the double jump and the climb feel the best. Like that movement. Um but even then, like, I think you should have gotten the double jump way sooner in the game. And you, like, I have all the guns, I think, now in the game. Which is crazy, because none of them feel that good, except for the double pump shotgun. Like, the, yeah, the, the slug or whatever that consumes two shots. And then, uh, sorry, I'm no gun expert, so, you know, bear with me. Um, nine enemies nearby. That's crazy that it detects that. Um, that one feels the best and has, like, the most impact. And I mostly just use that, but... I don't know, man. It, I'm really disappointed by Doom 2016. I love, um, <clears throat> I love games like that with like the ironic, big dumb stuff. Like, 
I'm a huge fan of Bulletstorm. Hilariously, that was kind of a long fall. Hilariously, someone told me in a comment recently, Bulletstorm is getting a VR, a VR format. How is that? <laughs> that is so funny to me. That game getting a VR game mode is... We're, we're living the life, guys. That's peak gaming. That's incredible. What a weird game to get VR. But I'm all I'm all here for it, man. Um, so that'll be interesting. But I love Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm and I always say that Rage 2, man. People did not like Rage 2. It's a pretty mixed bag for a lot of people. It's like it's like a pretty shallow game. The story is nothing crazy. I get it. But I don't know. It has some... It does have deep world building. Um, if you played Rage 1 and then you play Rage 2, you notice a lot of the deeper callbacks and world building. And um, I really like the architecture hilariously. I think of Rage 1 and Rage 2 is like some of the best in gaming about showing a apocalyptic society, like using weird old signs and shingles to just sort of create structure to live in i think it's like really really impressive that sort of level of house does what is this crazy background whoa um that crazy world building but uh, yeah i think rage 2 has the best combat that i've ever played in a video game if you haven't played it i recommend checking it out uh, a lot of people call it shallow and call it, which you know it kind of is i'm not gonna like fight that fight um, but I also think it has, yeah, the best combat in any, any in the FPS game, rather, I should say. Um, the combat in Rage 2 is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you do have to, I recommend getting, like, the slam, like, get, get all the abilities, go visit all of the arcs, or what really make Rage 2 incredible combat-wise. Um, but even without, even without, like, just the basic shooting and, like, sliding and, like, the... The basic movement movement mechanics of Rage 2 feel incredible, um, with like double jump. But like, you, it gets so much better, like with the double jump and the slam and like the um, charge. The different abilities make it, man, really make it what it is. Um, but yeah, best best FPS combat in my opinion. Kind of a hot take. Not many people agree with that, but uh, check out Rage 2 if you're interested in just smooth, good feeling combat. Getting pretty deep into this mining adventure at this point with this crazy weird background that i've personally never seen um i don't want to die to that boulder if possible might be might be too difficult for my brain to manage i'm out of inventory space as i can't pick up this gargoyle statue we're gonna get rid of this dart trap now inventory management obviously becomes a pretty big part i could just recall honestly it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world but i want to see what i can yeah, we get to, get to kill the bats. I see a statue down here. I want to see if I can get any more. Oh, man. There's going to be so many mobs coming. It's definitely going to get super scary here. I just want to check for... Oh, do I have a jump? Oh, thank. Every, let's just jump down here and... We're going to go for a little bit more. Oh, that's not good. The merchant arrived. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. I'm not going to last much longer here. Let me jump into this chest. Grab the snowball. Oh, I'm in a snow biome. I actually didn't even know. So I'm in a snow biome. Got you. Got you. We're going to just throw away that mud block to grab this. We're going to throw away. We can throw away a wooden table. Anything else that's worse, though? Blink root seeds. I've never really cared about seeds in this game. I'll throw away those two things, and I can grab this. And then my inventory is full again. I'm probably just going to recall here. I have 27 recall potions. I'm going to recall here, come back to my base, and then we'll go ahead and do our sorting.